Wayne here from Baseball Canada. Today with Andre, we're going to be talking about sport for development. And specifically, Andre, let's talk a little bit about using baseball as a life skill. So, for example, we know baseball is a game of failure. Yeah. Strikeout, uh, or if your batting average is 300, that means you fail seven making out of an ten. Error, making an error. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, using an example from baseball, how can you make that connection to real life? So, uh, I think that's an important topic because there's so many lessons we learn in baseball that are transferable to the life, to life, to life in general. So, to go back to your example, uh, handling failure, uh, you apply for a job. And then you just don't get it because someone else was better and you just don't get the job that you wanted. So what you learn in baseball is transferable to something else in life. I'm going to turn back the question to you now. Um, baseball is a game of frustration. So sometimes you hit the ball hard and you get an out. Or as a pitcher, you make a great pitch and the, the, the batter hits the ball like nine miles away. So what could be... The transferable um, and the transferable idea to their life in general. Yeah, and there's nothing more frustrating than hitting a line drive yeah. right at somebody and killing an inning at that point. Yeah. But the same could be said in the real world that you work really hard, you uh, show up every day on time, you stay late, you do all the right things working for a promotion and then all of a sudden you just don't get it. Exactly. I mean, that it's the way things roll and, you know, in the work world and in baseball, we're constantly adjusting to change. Yeah. How do you see that connection between baseball and real life? Well, you look at uh, adjusting to change. As a, as a hitter, you need to adjust to a new pitcher coming in all the time. That happens all the time. Uh, in real life also, going back to the work life, uh, you've got a new manager, a new boss coming in that you need to adjust to new philosophy and new ways of doing things. So uh, what you learn in baseball, again, could be transferable to to, uh, to to life in general and at the same time returning back question to the final one is in baseball you need to find ways to control your emotions sometimes the umpire make makes a bad call and that, that happens and you need to stay within yourself so how can you transfer that to life, to life in general yeah controlling your emotions is such a big factor to success in baseball you mentioned umpire calls and, and arguing calls or perceived bad calls, yeah. making an error or striking out. These are all things that can generate emotions in players. In real life, you know, we talk about it every day. We, you see in the news, road rage, yeah. um, arguments with coworkers, family, that type of thing. Good coaches have ways of managing their players and leading by example which translate baseball skills to life skills. So there you go, coaches. So you can use some of what we learn in baseball and use it as a way to transfer to life in general. <laughs>